Hi, this is Todd from the Crossroads Inn, and welcome to another Warcraft 4 video. In this video, I'll be telling you the dark story of the Agamand family and the Agamand males. So with that said, just sit back and enjoy another tale from the Crossroads. Agamand was the name of a rich human family that lived in the kingdom of Florgeron before the Third War, which brought the undead plague with it. They specifically lived in the northern part of the area called the Tirisfall Glades and owned a large piece of land which would be known as the Agaman Mills. As said in the name itself, they owned a lot of windmills, although they also had a family crypt as well as a few houses. The members of the Agamand family that lived there during the spreading of the Undead Plague were Gregor and Nisa Agamand, who had two sons, Thurman and Devlin Agamand. Two of their most notable farmhands were Coleman Farthing and his sister, Yvette. When the undead scourge attacked Lord Ron, the Agamans decided to hold fast to their home and order their farmhands to remain on the property and defend it from the undead. The youngest member of their family, Devlin Agamand, would make a deal with the scourge for unknown promises, but in the end, whatever it was, the pact was a lie. He would murder a few guards without them suspecting a thing, while a small force of undead entered the mills and ended up slaying a third of the entire population. Because of his betrayal, Devlin was outcast by his family as he had become an agent of the Scourge, specifically a skeletal mage. In the end, everyone would be killed by the Scourge and risen into undeath to serve the Lich King, although the undead farmhands eventually managed to free themselves from the Lich King's will and become a part of the Forsaken. Sadly, the three remaining Agamans would be left as undead slaves to the Lich King, Gregor becoming a ghoul, his wife Nisa a banshee, and their son Thurman a mindless zombie. The Agaman Mills would become the main base of operations for the Undead Scourge in the Tirasfall Glades in their fight against the Forsaken, who made Lordron their home. It is now haunted by the Agamand family, as well as hundreds of skeletons, banshees, and other undead creatures. Everything that was of this wealthy family now lies in ruins. The leader of the Scourge in the Tirasfall Glades resides in the Agamand family crypt and is a skeleton by the name of Captain Dargle. The farmhands Coleman Farthing and his sister would reside in the town called Brill, although Coleman would return to the mills to exact his revenge on the undead Agamans because they forced him to fight and die in vain while defending their land. The legacy of the Agamand family would be witnessed as the Forsaken would build an outpost in the continent of Northrend which they would name New Agamand in honor of the Agamands and their mills. Anyway guys, this is it on the video and we hope you all enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to check out our other videos and subscribe. If you're interested in Warcraft, Lord of the Rings slash Hobbit, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Witcher, Game of Thrones and other fantasy franchise based lore, stay tuned for more videos like this one. And also, if you're by any chance into LEGO reviews and Star Wars lore videos, check out our main channel, The Scoundrel's Cantina. The link for it will be below. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, no matter how lost you are, the Innkeeper will always show you the path. See you in another video.